following episode of Cooking with Carter is sponsored by MITS of Virginia. In just a bit, we're going to have a video that explains what MITS is and does. We'd like to take a minute to thank all of MITS and their wonderful people for the help in sponsoring Season 4 of Cooking with Carter. Hello and welcome to this episode of Cooking with Carter. I'm your host, DJ Carter. Emily is actually on camera today helping us out. Hello. Uh, Max is working. He, they've working him to death. They've got him in the mines. He's doing it all. Today we're going to do a seafood episode. I'm going to do uh, some steamed crabs and I'm going to show you uh, how I cook them, how I season them, and how I eat them very well. We actually went on a fishing trip Saturday and I caught 25 fish total, including a uh, four pound catfish and a uh, three pound croaker and a lot of brim and perch and things like that. So happy to have everybody with us today. All right, what we've got here is we've got 18 crabs. Okay, and I'm gonna just tilt the pot in so we can see. And you can zoom in on that if you need to, hon, so they can see everything. All right. Tilt a little more. There you go. There you go. All right, zoom back out. And periodically, I'm going to be giving Emmy some uh, some tips on what we're doing because this is her first time actually filming for me. I'm a newbie. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and give a generous amount of complete seasoning. salt. Is this before you add water or yes. after? Yes, it's, it's before. Okay. Onion powder. And Old Bay seasoning. Now I didn't go over the ingredients because there weren't a lot and the Old Bay is basically right there. The tricky part is getting it open. There we go. <clears throat> now you can actually use beer. A lot of people use beer when you cook your crabs. I don't because I don't have any right now. So I'm going to toss these around just like that. And you can see where the seasoning has coated most of them, but I'm going to season them a second time. And I'm going to do it in reverse order. Onion powder. Complete. You're not just filming me, are you? You want to make sure to film what I'm doing too. And the garlic salt. Now, what Marshall's going to do is he's going to take this in and fill these up. You want to have enough water just to cover your crabs. Okay, so when you do that, make sure that your crabs are fully covered. <clears throat> just, just barely to where there's enough water to where they're fully covered, but not much more than that. You want to steam them on high for about, for this pot size, for about 20 minutes. Usually, actually, correction, for about 15 minutes. Uh, they will turn a bright red. You will see a bright red color, and I'll show you what they look like when we come back. I'm going to show you how to clean them. We'll be right back on Cooking with Carter and show you how these look. Hello and welcome back to Cooking with Carter. What we went ahead and did is we've taken the crabs out of the steaming hot pot and went ahead and drained all the water off of them. There's that nice red color we were talking about. 
Okay, I want to kind of explain what I've done here. I've got some uh, local grocer bags. Uh, I've actually got four kind of uh, caddy crossed under each other. Um, and this is better than newspaper because these are paper and they absorb a lot of the water, a lot of the wetness. I've also got a towel on me. That's one of the reasons I'm not wearing my cooking vest. I'm not going to clean crabs and wear my cooking vest and get it dirty. I know, I know it's cooking with Carter. I know I should, but you know what? I'm not. I've also got a couple of tools here. Um, this is a little paring knife that I use to help clean the crabs with. It, it's going to come in real handy in a second when I show this thing and show you how to use it. Just a basic paring knife, okay? All right, what I've got is I've got a bowl over here on the left-hand side for the claws. I've got a bowl of water that I'm going to clean the crabs with. It just got cold water in it. Here are the crabs, and then this bowl here uh, is actually this bowl is for the claws. This bowl is for the meat. It's so, behind it. And the little yeah. the little bowl here that I'm talking about the, the crab bowls or crab bowls the crab claws are going to go in here, and all that luscious crab meat is going to go right in here. Nom, nom. All right, so we've got about 16 to 18 crabs here, and I'm just going to go ahead and grab one. These are rather, rather hot. Okay. All right. So before I do anything, this is what the crab looks like. Okay, a little steamed goodness. All right. So the first thing that I do, do you need me to move the bowl out of the way, Hunter? Or you yes, okay? a little bit. Marshall, can you come... Uh, Okay, so now the first thing that I do when cleaning a crab is complain about how hot it is. Ow. All right, <laughs> I pop off the claw, put the claw in there like that. Turn it over on its back. Okay, these are really hot. Wow. I also have a towel. That's one of the reasons I have it. Hold the crab, pop off the claw, put the claw in there like that. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Because these are so hot, I'm going to hold the crab body. Sorry if I'm covering this. I'm going to snap off the legs. The legs, I don't... You don't do any, they're, they're docile, they don't really have any meat in them. And the trash they go, I got the trash can on the side too. Just makes it easier to deal with. Now that it's starting to cool off a little bit, I can hold. Okay. Alright, now comes the fun part, alright? There's a little triangle on the body right here, and I'm just going to outline it with the knife. Em, can you get a shot of that triangle for me? You see what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. All right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my paring knife, I'm going to take the tip of the paring knife, slide that up underneath the crab, and that's going to bring that triangle back. Like a little lever. But just like that, just like a little lever. Now, this is the part that's hard to do on camera and not block. In that, okay, when I pull that lever back, snap the lever off. Okay, that creates a little opening right back here. Okay, this opening... Hold it up one more time. Yeah. This opening, which is really hot, I'm going to take my thumb... I have it on your hand, by the way. ...and pop it back. Okay, now it did half shell, and it's not supposed to do that. Yeah, usually it comes off in clean But that's okay. I'm going to take my paring knife. These are soft shells, so they're... No, they're not. They're not. They're, they're dungeness. They're not oh, soft they're not? shell. No. Sorry, soft, shell you can, soft shell you can eat whole. In the event that they break half like that, slide your paring knife in. Go on the other side. And just pop it back just like that. Now, 
here's the cool part. When you clean a crab, usually all the stuff that you don't want is going to come straight out of there. And that's the case right here. I'll turn it sideways. And you just grab, just like that, and pull. And that is basically how you clean it. So all that is gone. Now, I'm going to take this little front feeler right here. Pop it back. Take that off there. Now you see the crab. Now these here are the kidneys. Some people eat them, some don't. I don't. I'm going to just take them off and take off the others. Now, once I'm done there, that is basically a, a clean crab. I'm going to hold the two halves and just break them in half just like that. There's a half. There's a half. This is where that bowl of water comes in real handy. Just dip it in there a couple times. You want the water to run clear because you don't want any yellow. I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. Run it in there a couple times. Now, here's the fun part. The next fun part, actually. I'm going to break away shell. This here, I won't need the knife anymore. The rest is just work. You pop the back shell back. In here, just like this. And this is just all meat. In here, and this little section right there, I don't know how far you got to zoom in, baby. But that is all meat in there. It doesn't look like a bunch, but let me show you. Hold it right where you had it. There you go. Okay, I'm just going to reach in here. And that's all meat. That's all crab meat. So I'm going to put that like in. little pockets. Yeah, and there's so many little little crevices and caverns and all those little cavities that you got to get into. But that's where the good stuff is. Yeah, that's where the good stuff is. So we're going to just take that meat and just... Some of it will fall onto the bag, which is fine. And you'll see if you notice any yellow or that, you can kind of dip the meat in the water and just clean it off there. But basically, depending on the body size, some crabs are going to have more meat than others. Just keep doing that. That's basically one side. Usually one side will have more meat than the other. It depends on you know how, how well the crab ate, how small or how big the crab is. And you have to watch how long you cook your crabs because if you cook them too long, the meat can get mushy. And that does sometimes happen, but it's still good. It doesn't mean... That's a bad thing, so we'll just keep cleaning that out. Sorry for the knock on the door. That's my neighbor's. Yay, apartments. If you heard that. We hope to have Max back on camera next week, but Emily's going to fill in for him. I'm actually training her on the uh, fine arts of video photography. You can rate my camera work in the comments. Mm -hmm. She's doing really well. Please be nice. She she asked me, she said, can I please help? I said, sure. I said, if you want to film, we'll give it a shot and see how it goes. Marshall did a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. All right, so there's a crab. I'm going to go ahead and do another one here. Marshall, if you'll bring that bowl forward. And just uh, pick, me out a, pick me out a big one there, Marshall. You ain't got to see if you can find a decent size one in there. Just trying to get a good one to do on camera here, guys. I got a lot of them. All right, we'll pick this one. And I'll get this one out, too. Let's show how nice they look. Got some really good 
good size ones this time. Okay, so. Alright. That's the voices the crabs make from my wife. Alright, let's do this big bad boy here. Now, I do want to mention a little really cool fact about a crab. A crab can change its sex up until it's five years old. It has the ability to do that. Okay, I'm going to pop off the claws the same way. Okay, pop off the legs the same way we did before. Going to hold it. Pull, 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 and same thing here. Pull off. Now, that time, all the legs came off like they were supposed to. Okay, so all of these. Now, got the little feeler here, same thing. All right, again, there's a little little triangle right back here on the, the, the belly of the crab. Take your knife, go underneath that triangle, and, and pull it back, just like M said, just like a little lever. Pull that lever off. Okay, hold the crab with one hand. Pop it back. That's how the crab is supposed to come off all in one piece. Hopefully and got that when I pulled it. Okay, the inside of this is called Dead Man. The yellow crab. Sorry. Or that. Okay. Alright, we're going to take off the kidneys and the lungs. side. There's the other side. And pretty much, I mean, it's the same thing. You pull that back, you pull this back, you yank this off, you tear this off. You basically mutilate the crab and cause it much pain. Of course, we love animals on this show. We just eat a lot of them. Yeah. Now here's, here's what I'm talking about. See how there's a piece of crab here, but it's got a little bit of yellow. I just dip it in the water, clean it off, put it right in there. All right, now here's where pretty much everything has been taken. Now, you can do these whole just like this. Run it in a couple times. like that. See how the water runs clear? Okay. Now, just snap it in half, just like that, both bodies. What does dead man do if you do consume it? Um, it, as long as it's not a lot of it, you're okay, but it can and will make you very sick, so you don't want to, you want to try to consume as less as possible. Like regular nausea, or? Um, no, a little bit more than that. Oh. Yeah, it can make you pretty sick. And as you can see, this crab had a lot of meat in there. Okay. And you can pretty much see when the body is clean. So that's the end of that body there. And you can see pretty much everything is out of it. There's not a whole, whole lot in some of these, but that's the yellow that I'm talking about. The yellow is down, down there at the bottom of the body, and that's kind of what you want to stay away from. That's where all that dead man sits. I'm getting text messages and voicemails and all sorts of things here. Sorry about that. I'm actually popular today. Now we're going to go in here and pick up all the meat again. Just like before, it's pretty much the same old thing. Okay. All right. Now 
And what we're going to go ahead and do is get the rest of these cleaned up. When we come back, I'll tell you a couple things that you can do with the crab meat, show you the finished product, and we'll eat a little bit on Cooking with Carter. So we'll be back in just a little bit. Stay tuned. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. As I said earlier, we're going to talk just a little bit about our sponsor for Season 4 for Cooking with Carter. I'm with Richard Baldwin of MITS of Virginia. Richard? DJ, thank you. I am with MITS of Virginia, and we are proud to be a sponsor for this season's Cooking with Carter. MITS of Virginia has been in the mobility business for over 16 years now, and we've been supplying individuals with solutions to their mobility challenges, be it vans, home modifications, DME equipment, or just a listening ear if you have a question. Feel free to give us a call, 1-800-420-6470. You can see us on Facebook. We also are linked to the Cooking with Carter site and our website www.mitsofva.com. DJ? Well, I tell you what, he said it all. As you see the poster here, this gives you just a little bit about what MITS is and does. I know this man personally. He's a great friend and now a great sponsor and partner of Cooking with Carter. We are very thankful to Mints of Virginia and the staff at Mints of Virginia for all of their help. And as we say every time on Cooking with Carter, the meals we make are worth the wait. We'll see you next time. Hello and welcome back to Cooking with Carter. All right, we finished up everything. The crabs are done. But what I want to show you just with the cleanup, this is the reason that I did these bags round like line like this. All I'm going to do is just fold this up and just run these. Now I'm just going to fold them again right in the trash they go. These have a little bit of water on them. Same thing. Fold them up. That's one of the benefits of cleaning crabs. So, let me just show you from the 18 crabs we got, all that luscious, lumptious, wonderful crab meat in there that I've got. Alright. Yeah, we did good. Now, uh, that's actually quite a haul for 18 crabs. Now, there's a quick recipe that you can do. I'm going to show you. Um, I'm not going to do it you know, on camera, but I am going to tell you. Uh, it is a crab cake. It's very simple. You take two eggs. Um, you take uh, breadcrumbs. You take a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. You mix them in with all of this, and you form it into a patty. This is about enough to to make one or two crab cakes maybe. Now the one thing that you have to watch out for is little bits of shell like that. Sometimes you're going to get shell in there so when you're eating that be careful. Uh, there can be shell every once in a while. But I would like to mention that this episode of Cooking with Carter has been sponsored by Mitts of Virginia and at the end of the show we're going to have a video to show what Mitts is and does. Again, we want to thank Mitt for our, all their help with Cooking with Carter. And this has been show six, so we're happy to be in the middle of our um, season four season, as we use season twice. So we're going to have about a month break to, excuse me, we're going to have about a 60-day break to prepare for our next six episodes. So they're, they're coming, but we're going to have a mid-season break. Um, Max is going to be able to help us back next week, hopefully, and we're going to have some shows coming your way real soon. So keep watching, keep subscribing, and remember, the meals we make are worth the wait. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you next time on Cooking with Carter. Goodbye, everybody.